I just want to analyze this statement. Um, the statement is from this song from Drake. Um, the song is called Star 67. And this quick statement alone, I think there's a lot that can be learned from it. And I just want to analyze this to, to share my thoughts on it. But this is the statement right here. Alright, so basically, I'm just going to reiterate what he said is not meant to be disrespectful, but this is just the language that they use in hip-hop. Alright, so in this statement, he said, Niggas know I'm credible, ain't no pussy on a pedestal. So basically, you know, if I translate the words, it's basically saying my friends know I'm credible because I don't put any female on a pedestal. You know, and um, I think there's a lot that can be learned from that, you know, um, as far as just growth and um, maturity and understanding of yourself, understanding of the world. And I think there's going to be very few people out there in this world who who don't put, um, you know, pussy on a pedestal or putting a woman on a pedestal or putting, I guess... You know, or you could just relate to sex, like putting sex above everything. You know, um, I think a lot of the people out there in this world are motivated by by sex. You know, and this is the basically is it also translates to the sex energy. Like, if everything that you do in your life is revolved around sex, which the advertisers know that. You know, that's why it's such a um, Everything's all about using sex to sell because they know that they could control the population if they learn to control this sex energy. So basically a lot of people out there, a lot of men, for example, are just basically driven by sex and they're, they're basically controlled by the woman. And, uh, you know, another translation to this statement is just basically, he's basically saying that, hey, you know, you know, my friends know I'm credible because I'm not pussy booked. That's another common um, phrase that people talk about, you know, use in reference to that. You know, like people putting a pussy in a pedestal, you know, being pussy whooped. Basically, like being, allowing your, you know, you're not a master of your sex drive. Basically, um, any beautiful woman or whatnot could just lead you astray. And she could just basically operate you like a puppet, you know, she, she's actually in control of you and you're not really in control of yourself, you know, you're not a master of yourself. And I think um, it also gets me to think about a lot about just people who are like sages or considered sages, you know, people like... Um, you know, people like, uh, you know, like a Jesus or a Buddha, you know, like, or Lao Tzu, you know, they're not really known to be um, confined in this family dynamic where they're controlled by a woman or a family. They're, there's nobody over them. They're a master of themselves and they're not a slave to the sex drive. I guess this... this this statement is also talking, is basically indicating that he's saying that he's not a slave to his sex drive. You know, um, he doesn't put um, sex, woman, pussy, or whatever ahead of everything, you know. Um, whereas a lot of most men do, you know, they're, they're quick to sell out, you know what I mean? Like, if, uh, if they find that woman that they're really attracted to, they will uh, drop everything for this woman. You know, the common thing about what you talk about, how a man might be in love or something where, okay, you know, everything is all about this, this vagina or this pussy or whatever, where nothing else in, in the world matters except for that. It's like somebody who is just basically, it's like a, another expression of greed, like just being so greedy with, and attached, you know, because if it's not pussy, right, if it's not sex, then the attachment could be something towards money, you know, because then people 
will replace this attachment um, towards towards um, sex with money, you know, and that becomes a problem as well, you know. So if you're not controlled, if you're not putting pussy in a pedestal, then you might put money in a pedestal, which is basically paper, you know, currency on a pedestal, and that you're just replacing one addiction with another addiction, which is not. It's, you're still not a master because you're, you you still have that addiction. You just change the addiction. It's like somebody who's addicted to heroin, and then now you he takes himself off of heroin and he puts himself you know addicted to crack. I mean it, the addiction is still there. So it could be the addiction towards um, sex or the addiction towards money. Either way, it's still an addiction. And addiction is a, indicating an, a, an attachment where. Um, you'll drop everything for this, you know, for this addiction, you know, and I think there's a lot of men out there that are controlled, you know, and putting sex and pussy or women on a pedestal, and the pe the men that do do this, they are not truly um, a master of their themselves, you know, I'm not saying that I am a master myself, but I'm just saying it's to me I could see a clear indication and if you think about somebody like Drake or people that are very famous and have a lot of money a lot of fame and say with that they have a lot of women um, they may obviously be less likely to be attached because whatever they have could be easily replaced so they don't ever you know is more likely that they won't put a single woman on any pedestal because there's no need to. Um, they could essentially, it's like somebody that's already has satisfied their appetite, they don't need to eat any more food and you, you can't really get them to do what you want them to do because they're not hungry. You know, like people that are hungry who haven't eaten for like seven days they're gonna do almost anything to get food, but if your appetite is satisfied and you don't um, have any hunger, then people can't control you with that food. And it's the same thing with money. I mean, if you have enough money, you have everything that you need, then people can't just pay you whatever amount of money to do exactly what they want you to do. You have certain standards. You have um, integrity. You have, you know, self-respect. And it's the same thing with the pussy. You know, if um, if a woman can get you to do whatever she wants you to do because she's threatening to take away the pussy or whatever the case may be, um, you're obviously at that point not a master of yourself. Um, somebody that's a master of themselves will not be led astray by the pussy. Not, not just the pussy, not just the money, or um, whatever the case may be. You know, so, um, hello?